All right, guys, happy new year and welcome to what is going to be the first of many vlogs uh, during and throughout 2018. So I am going to get this one kicked off with some sad news. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm afraid, guys, that this has to go. Um, as you know, I didn't get around to finishing uh, the documentary No Limits last year. There were, you know, things came up, life happened, and uh, myself and Matt, we just got overwhelmed with other stuff and other projects, so we didn't get time to finishing it. So we are now meeting up next week. We are gonna put the, uh, put the work in and put this plan together to get it finished, and I didn't have this when I started. So in the interest of continuity, Unfortunately, it has to go, so I'll be sad to see you go, Mr. Beard, but in the uh, in the immortal words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'll be back. We will regrow later on in the year. Anyway, so what is this vlog about? What are we doing to kick off 2018? Right now, I'm outside my house in Plymouth. I'm about to make a three-hour drive up to Herefordshire, and I'm working with Jaguar Land Rover on an exciting new project. They reached out last year uh, after the Invictus Games and they told me about a project they're working on and they asked me would I uh, like to get involved and help them out. Being a big Land Rover fan, as in not, not so much the off-road stuff, but I'm a big fan of Range Rovers, um, I you know, got to hear a little bit about the project and then agreed um, that I'd get involved because it sounds quite exciting, I think I want to get involved in and help where I can. So I'm going to go up there now, um, nothing's on for the rest of the day, I'm just going to take a slow, chilled out cruise up there, uh, jump in a hotel, tomorrow morning we've got some off-roading to do, I'm hopefully uh, meeting up with a bunch of other injured guys who are going to have a lot of input on this as well. Uh, we're going to do some off-road driving uh, with various uh, injuries, disabilities, that kind of stuff. And then we're going to jump in a boardroom after lunch and have a heads together session where we're going to talk about developing, uh, if I get this right, like the ultimately accessible vehicle. So um, from a disabled person's point of view, a vehicle that can include uh, as many different various disabilities as possible so people can enjoy not only the on-road experience of a, a Jaguar or a Land Rover uh, but on the Land Rover side of things an off-road experience too so if they're farmers, if they live in the country, if they like off-roading, whatever the case may be this vehicle um, should be the answer so I'm going to vlog as much as I can I'm not sure how secretive this is um, I'm not sure when we did ask uh, when I was first approached about it if, if Matt could come and film uh, with the big heavy camera but they, they weren't too keen on that but I'm going to try and vlog what I can show you guys some off-road and on-roading the different things people use to drive with and uh, you know keep you guys up to date so uh, I'm out of here right now but I will be back Right, I'm taking a little pee break. I'm gonna start crying in a minute if I don't go and uh, use the facilities here. So I think I'm in, I'm in Gloucester. I'm gonna test out a little bit of kit. It looks like a little <laughs> Elvis Presley's guitar case. But it is what the professionals call a gimbal. Um, and uh, I don't know if you saw in a, in a vlog I did a little while ago, I think it was one of the Invictus Games ones, I um, tried walking through a service station holding my camera and it didn't go too well. Obviously walking around on prosthetics isn't very smooth and having one hand isn't very smooth. Um, so I got myself this bad boy. So I am going to hook up now and I'm going to walk into there, use the toilet, grab a coffee, probably get some very strange looks as I walk in, it's a very posh service. Have a look at it. It's in Gloucester. It's like a. It's all cut into the hillside. It's like a Teletubby's house. But anyway, I'm gonna go test my new toy out. 
All right, I think we're working. Let me try this as I get out of the car. It's supposed to stop. She. Oh, sorry. Hang on. All right, I didn't start too great. It's supposed to stop shaking and stuff. So, uh, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. I need to turn you guys around somehow. Bear with me. Right, I have to do the old school way. Because you cannot do it, I don't think, handheld on this thing. Alright, let's see if it works. All right, so I don't think I did that right. It was okay, but I'm pretty sure that when I tested this before, you could hit a button on this, the like stalk here, and you could record, and you could zoom in, and you could zoom out, but that doesn't seem to be working. So I'm gonna search the app store and see if I'm pretty sure there was a, an app that hooked up to this. Um, so I could use, use all the buttons in one hand, which is the reason I bought the thing anyway. So wait there. All right, I found an app. I am not messing around with this now. I am a complete techno biff. So I'm gonna crack on to my hotel and uh, I'm gonna have a, a fiddle around with this later, see what I can figure out and uh, jump on YouTube and watch some clever dude talk me through this setup. I need to get this sorted, uh, but it's an important bit of kit. I made it to the location, to the Malden Spa. A spa, an actual spa. That's never happened to me before. Um, but as usual, I won't get to see any of it. I'll be stuck in here doing this, emailing on my laptop and get ready for tomorrow. So that's pretty much it for the day. Um, I'll grab as much footage as I can of the fun stuff tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Shower, breakfast, meet up with the team, and we're heading over to Eastner Castle, maybe? Um, doesn't matter, we're getting a lift anyway, so they know where they're going. And then we got a morning's driving, so I'm really, really, really uh, looking forward to what it is these guys have planned for the day. Um, I'm hoping a bit to get some footage, otherwise this is kind of pointless. Um, but we'll see, this is a bit hush-hush and secret, but I'm sure they'll be cool. As long as I don't record anything uh, that I shouldn't, we should be good to go. To it. I am, yeah. Good. Yeah, it's gonna be, it sounds like fun. Well, you've got the nice one to pick the thing, you've got the Range Rover. Alright, we're in. We are in the Range Rover, in the Vogue. Uh, they just gone in to collect the rest of the group. Quite a few of us are going to be in there today by the sounds of it. And I am 
really really looking forward to this sounds like it's going to be uh, a hell of a day Best colour for mud. Yeah. <laughs> it's not great to wash, but it, it looks epic when rolls. they're going through the woods and stuff, so. Okay then guys. There you go. So All right, any questions? Great, have a wonderful day with us, enjoy yourselves. Um, so I'll encourage the crew to bring the vehicles to the front of the building and we'll get going. All right, thank you very much. On it like a car bonnet. Oh god, yeah. They don't make them like that anymore. Well, they're doing quite a lot of remakes now, so they've obviously redone Blade they're, Runner. They're on about doing another um, Highlander. About five years ago, they were supposed to have been uh, a reboot. Oh, oh he's missed it! He's missed, 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 missed it! First <laughs> one. Yes! <laughs> Oh, there you go. So that means that uh, you've got to know every single one now, Gareth. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, he's got bragging rights. All yeah. I'm saying is, <clears throat> I'm letting him have it because uh, I won in uh, Toronto. So uh, <laughs> you know fuck. why you won, don't you? No one else turned up because I went there. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? <laughs> That's what it was, mate. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> Shit, the fucking bed. I can't believe I missed the first one. Oh well, it's one of them. You're gonna miss this one as well. No, I'm not. I've got this one. I am not. <laughs> I am not missing that. Get round there, Sharon. Turn in the uh, car. Not every day you have a brake turn and range room, is it? Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice. Fresh is on though, isn't it, Mark? I mean, got to nail these two at the end. Is this the double one now, is it? No, oh. no, further on, he's got to nail it. <laughs> Guys, let me start with an apology. Um, I didn't get anywhere near 
the amount of footage that I wanted to uh, over this uh, this last day working with Jaguar Land Rover. Uh, let me explain why. So we started the day uh, doing the Land Rover experience. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty cool actually. If you if you buy a brand new Land Rover, you can go to a, a center in the UK and you can go on a, a day long off roading experience, which is basically what we did yesterday. Uh, not in your brand new Land Rover, in one of their Land Rovers and they'll show you what the cars are actually capable of doing. So you go off-roading, you go down steep descents, steep ascents, you go through woodlands, you go through gorges, you wade, you can wade up to 900 uh, mil in the vehicle. You can see how the car in certain situations can effectively drive itself, uh, which is something I did yesterday, trying to drive through a forest where I wasn't allowed to brake. Um, but it was really difficult to get footage because the Land Rover team were taking their own footage. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they had GoPros and handheld cams and everything. So there was never really an opportunity for me to get someone to say, listen, can you grab my phone and uh, uh, film me doing this? And then in the afternoon, what we actually did, uh, me and all the guys, there were a bunch of guys there that I went through rehab with. So guys and girls with all various disabilities got to take part yesterday. They put us all together in the afternoon in a room, split us into two teams, and then, I mean, this was all a bit hush-hush and we weren't allowed to film this, but we were effectively, from a disabled person's point of view, giving ideas and coming up with solutions uh, to make a new vehicle which is completely accessible to disabled people. So you can do things, I think one of the races was called the G4, um, you know, the Dakar rally type stuff, where if you went out as a disabled team, how you could be self-sufficient, fully experience the whole journey uh, as self-sufficiently as you possibly can. So that was a lot of fun, working with the design teams and the people that work in the factories and design and build the cars and giving them our input from a disabled person's point of view with a various, with a varying range of, of issues from the whole team. Um, but we weren't allowed to film that. So... Um, Guys, I apologise. I wanted to have a lot more uh, action in this vlog, if I'm honest. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I did my best. The important thing is I've got 2018 off to a start. And these things are going to be coming thick and fast. Some may be interesting. Some may not. But it's all about documenting my life. Uh, the things I get up to. The challenges. The triumphs. The struggles. The big wins. All that kind of stuff, just to, to bring it to you guys, to step my game up, take it to another level. Uh, it's something I really enjoy doing, and I hope you guys will enjoy this journey with me.